To update our motherboard BIOS, we first need to know what motherboard we have and what BIOS revision we're currently running. If you don't already know this information, a quick and easy way to find it is to press the Windows key on your keyboard and then type in system. This should bring up the system information app here. Press enter and you'll see this window displaying all the information about our system, including our motherboard model and BIOS revision. I have an ASUS ROG Strix X470-F gaming motherboard and my current BIOS revision is 5406. With this information in hand, we now need to go to our web browser and search for our motherboard. In my case, I'm going to search for ASUS Strix X470-F gaming. You'll obviously want to search for your motherboard make and model. And I want to click on this link here for ASUS's product page. And now we want to go to the support page for our motherboard, which on ASUS's website is this link right here. Now we're going to click on driver and tools, then on BIOS and firmware, and right here is the most recent version of the BIOS for my motherboard. You should be aware that depending on how old your current BIOS is, you may have to update to an older BIOS version first before you can update to the most recent one. If that is the case, it should be noted in the description here below the BIOS revision number, so you'll just want to check through all the revisions between your current one and the newest one before proceeding. It appears I'm good to go, so I'll download the most recent version here. Now we need to navigate to our download folder. Right click on this zipped folder and extract our new BIOS file. Next we need to copy our new BIOS file to a USB flash drive. I recommend plugging your flash drive into one of the USB ports on the back of your PC since they're connected directly to your motherboard. I do not recommend using the front panel ports when updating your BIOS. No. <laughs> to keep things as simple as possible, I like to copy the BIOS file into my flash drive's root directory so that when I go to update, it's right there ready for me to choose it. With our new BIOS version in hand, we want to restart our computer and enter our BIOS. To enter the BIOS on my motherboard, I'm going to press the delete key on my keyboard when my motherboard splash screen pops up. Just FYI, your motherboard may require you to press F2 or even some other key, so just watch out for that prompt as your computer boots up. If you have any overclock applied to your CPU, a custom fan curve, or any other custom settings enabled in your BIOS, it's at this point you're going to want to make note of your settings because our BIOS update is going to revert all of these back to default. Okay, so now we need to go to our motherboard's BIOS flash utility. On my motherboard, that can be found in the tool tab here, and it's the first item on the list, ASUS Easy Flash Utility. We'll select that, and it gives us the option to update via a storage device or via the internet. I don't know that all motherboards give an internet option like this, which is why I downloaded it and copied it to a flash drive because I know for a fact that all motherboards support this method. So I'm going to select via a storage device and then hit next. On the left here, it's showing all the storage drives connected to my computer. We want to select the drive with our BIOS file on it, which in my case is the 16 gigabyte flash drive here. And on the right, we can see our new BIOS file, ROG Strix X470F Gaming ASUS 6042.cat. We'll select that file, and now we're going to be asked if we want to read this file. Before we click yes here, I should let you know when updating your BIOS, there is a risk of bricking your motherboard. If the power goes out while updating, or if you feel like it's taking too long and you restart your computer, there is a very high chance your motherboard will be rendered inoperable and you'll have no choice but to buy a new one. If you have access to a UPS like mine here, which stands for Uninterruptible Power Supply, I recommend plugging your PC into it, so in the unlikely event the power does go out, your PC will be able to finish the update without a problem. Now that we're fully aware of the risk involved, we can select yes. And to make sure we're actually serious about updating, it will ask us if we really want to do this. We really do, so we'll hit yes again, and that will begin the update process. This usually takes a few minutes, so be patient. And once it's done, I need to click OK here. And now our PC will reboot and prompt us to enter setup one more time, which will take us back into our BIOS. Now we can re-enable our CPU overclock if we had one, enable our RAMs XMP, and any other custom options we may have previously had enabled. We can then go to exit, hit save changes and reset, and now our computer should boot back up into Windows just like normal.